Hello everyone, so welcome back to the part 2 of structure of DNA. Before this, we just ended to di uh, nucleotides and I just explained in the intermediate video that there could be two types of nucleotides, which one could be a DNTP, which could have triphosphate group and another is DNMP, which has a monophosphate group. To form a single strand of DNA, we need monophosphate nucleotide. So let's start and let's see how the ligation process is taking place. This is a nucleotide and the nucleotide has adenine with it and so it is. it would be named as DAMP. A hydrogen group, a hydroxyl group, a hydrogen group, fifth carbon. This is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, okay, which is fibrine. And to it is attached a phosphate group with a single negative charge. Okay, this is monophosphate group. We are drawing another nucleotide. Suppose it is guanine. So it would be named as deoxyguanosine monophosphate. Okay, it has a phosphate group here. And this bond is going to take the bond which we are naming as PDB. Phosphodiester bond is going to take, take place be, uh, between the 5 prime carbon atom and the 3 prime. 3 prime hydroxyl group of another nucleotide. 5 prime phosphate of one nucleotide and 3 prime hydroxyl of another nucleotide. So let's see how the ligation is going to take, take place. So this was a phosphate attached here. Okay, now how the phosphodiester bond is going to take place? This OH and this H is going to be removed. OH negative H plus ion which forms H2O molecule. So an H2O molecule is removed from 3 prime hydroxyl H plus ion from 3 prime hydroxyl group. And OH ion from 5 prime phosphate group is removed which gives an H2O molecule and the resulting bond that is formed is known as phosphodiester bond. Now why phosphodiester bond? Because it has phosphate group in it so it is known, known as phospho. Now why diester? Because there are two oxygens and in between there is a phosphate group. Let me draw it by removing this OH ion and H plus ion. I am drawing it. I am just reconstructing it. This is the oxygen of 3 prime hydroxyl group. And this is the phosphate group of 5 prime carbon. Okay. So you can see that phosphate is sandwiched between two oxygen. That's why it is known as diester bond. This bond is a covalent bond. I have suggested you to watch my chemical bonds video before coming to this video. So you might have watched that I have named a covalent co PDB bond as covalent bond. Now what are covalent bond? Covalent bonds need enzymes for their formation and enzymes if you want to break them. So here which enzyme we are taking? is DNA ligase. Here we are taking DNA ligase. We are ligating DNA. That's why the enzyme is named as DNA ligase. Now it is not so that only this enzyme form phosphodiester bond. There are other enzymes which is, which is also forming phosphodiester bond which is named as DNA polymerase or RNA polymerase. 
So, but for this, we need to go to double stranded DNA, and for that, we need to understand nucleases. Nucleases, the word nucleases is because it it just breaks the phosphodiester bond between two nucleotides and make them separate nucleotide it is breaking nucleotides that's why it is named as nucleases so before going to dna polymerase or rna polymerase we need to understand types of nucleases most probably my next video would be on types of nucleases but i cannot assure that again in between i'm also uploading few videos on few general science concepts so don't forget to watch them too if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe with your colleagues so bye bye take care see you next time